It was one of the most ambitious and popular initiatives celebrating Columbus's bicentennial. Columbus Neighborhoods. But we're not finished yet. As WOSU Public Media thanks the viewers and supporters who have made this series such a success, WOSU is proud to announce that Columbus Neighborhoods will continue with profiles of six more communities. Buckeye Steel started here really as an iron company. And no matter how you cut it, it was hard, dirty, difficult, and sometimes dangerous work. Steel and glass, heart and soul, Tough times, good people. The South Side. Homes from Sears Catalog. Roses at Whetstone. Streetcars and amusement parks. But the roller coaster came right by, part of it came right by High Street. So if you rode on the streetcar, you absolutely knew it was there. Clintonville. A New England village, faithful to its roots, traditional and modern, Worthington. Quarries and a golf course, first planned community, green lawns and a golden bear, the Tri-Villages. From Pleasant Ridge to the Governor's Mansion, Shaded streets, cherished customs, and treasured temples. Bexley. The immigrant experience in Columbus. I came to the United States to get a life, good life. And the first time when I get snow. Yeah. When I see snow, it's very difficult for me. From the Irish to the Somalis, a new world, a new language, new challenges, new Americans. Columbus Neighborhoods continues because community is an essential part of Columbus's DNA and no one else can explore, foster, and celebrate that sense of community like WOSU Public Media. <laughs>